Okay, so what do we got here? Well, we have the numbers 10, 14, 17, and some number x, but we know that the average of these numbers is 15. And we'd like to know what x is equal to. So this is going to combine a lot of fun stuff for us uh, in mathematics. We get to deal with the average, and we're going to have to use some algebra to actually solve for this mystery number, this x. But this is not that difficult. And if you've been studying um, the average, right, this is a very typical type of problem. So if you've, you know, this kind of caught your eye, you're like, yeah, I got some of these problems in my homework, or I'm going to have to, you know, my teacher said you're going to have to know how to do these type of problems for your test or quiz. Don't be surprised because pretty much everyone studying the average is going to have to know these type of problems. Not that difficult, okay? There's another word for the average, by the way, that is the mean, okay? And let's throw some other mo words out there, the median. And there's even another word out there called the mode. And I'm going to actually quickly, quickly uh, go over these. It's just a little bonus uh, lesson little micro lesson here in a second. But if you think you can figure this out, I would certainly encourage you to pause the video, play around with it, but I'm gonna get into exactly how you solve this problem in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over the years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus, everything in between. I also have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GMAT, teacher certification, ASVAB, ACUPLACE or CLEP exam, you, you kind of get the idea. If you're taking an exam and it has math on it, I likely have a test prep course for that. I also do a ton with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program, then obviously I help those of you that are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, uh, if you are uh, a math student, I must tell you, okay, over decades of teaching math, one of the most, most important skills that you need to uh, focus in on is being a great note taker. If you have great notes, you're almost always going to do excellent in math. And of course, if the, you know, your notes are less than, you know, spectacular, you know, then you're at risk of missing things and not understanding. So listen, if you're truly committed on wanting to be great in math, take great math notes. Now, in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. I'm going to leave the link, my, the links to my notes and all this stuff in the description of this video. All right, let's go ahead and talk about some concepts here. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about uh, these words, the mean, median, and mode. All right, mean, median, mode. Let's take the numbers here, one, two, three. We'll use a simple set of data. So these things right here are called, these terms um, are called what we, uh, the measures of central tendency. Okay, so we have some raw information. We're trying to figure out, you know, trends in it. Okay, well, the mean is another word, a fancier word for the average, right? So let's talk about how we calculate the average. So if I have one, two, three, what do I do to calculate the average? Well, you have to add up the numbers okay in the set so here would be one plus two plus three and then we're going to divide by how many numbers we have how many numbers do we have here one two and three so we're going to divide by three numbers of course two plus three is five five plus one is six so six divided by three let's write that over here six divided by three is two okay so this is the average and of course we're going to be using this in our little problem here or the mean so given this data the average or the mean is two. It's the measure of central tendency. And that makes sense. If you just look at this, it's like the in-between number. Now, what is the median? Okay, well, the median is the middle number, you know, the way it sounds, okay? It's the middle number when your uh, uh, data, when your numbers are um, ordered from lowest to highest, okay? When you have your information uh, that, you know, uh, written in this way, your data, it's the actual middle number. So, for example, right here, what's the middle number? I'm starting from the lowest. It's going to the highest. It is 2. Okay, so and I'm doing a real basic explanation of this. Of course, there's other type of problems, but I don't want to uh, make this into a complete full lesson on all this stuff. So this is just a quick review. Okay. All right. So the median is the middle number. It's two. And it just happened to be that our mean is also two, 
but you can certainly have uh, sets of data where your your average and your median will be different. Quite frankly, that's generally uh, the case. Okay, so if you have information, let's say like one, one, two, four. I'm just making something up. Seven and uh, nine. Okay, if I was to calculate the average, what would I do here? Well, I would add all these guys up. Okay. So I have how many numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six. I would get the sum divided by six. That would be my average. Now, if I wanted to calculate the median, are these numbers from highest to lowest? Yes, they are. Okay, so let's go ahead and calc well, let's figure out what the middle number is. Well, let's see here. I have three here and I have three numbers there. So four is not the middle because I have that would leave me with two and three over here. And two is not the middle because that would leave me with two numbers and three numbers here. So how do I calculate the median? Well, I would take the average of the two center numbers. So two plus four is six. Six divided by two is, of course, three. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take the average of those two middle numbers. So that would be six over two, which would be three. So right there, three would be the median. Okay, now I could tell you right now uh, the average would probably be different, but let's go ahead and just uh, uh, calculate the average here just to warm up, make sure you understand um, how to calculate the average. So let's see here. I got 9 and uh, 7, that is 16, and I have 6 right here. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. All right, so that gives me, what, 24 if I'm correct? So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 24 divided by 6 is, in fact, 4, right? 4 times 6 is 24. So our, um, our average is 4, okay? Interesting. And our median for this data set is 3, all right? So, again, an illustration to show you that your median and average can certainly be uh, different, right? But look at these numbers, though, 3 and 4. They're kind of close to one another, right? So we're talking about the measures of central tendency. Okay, now there's one other number or one other term that uh, we haven't discussed and we're going to talk about that right now. That's called the mode. The mode is the number in your data set that shows up the most frequently, okay, if there is a such a number. So let's take a look at this initial uh, example, one, two, three. Which number uh, shows up the most, right? Uh, one, two, or three? Well, they all show up one time. So in this case, there is no mode, okay, there's no mode. Now, unlike the mean and median, you can always calculate this, the mode, it all depends on if, if you do have a number that shows up the most frequently. So let's look at this data. We have one, one, two, four, seven, nine. Which number shows up the most? It's clearly one. So with this data set, the mode would be one. Okay, so just a quick uh, review on the, the measures of central tendency. I can get into the range and we can make this more complicated, but you know, if we are talking about the average uh, or the mean, then you're likely going to be studying this stuff as well. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, but now let's get to our fun little problem. Okay, so actually let me go back, back up here, okay? And because I don't want to just show you the solution. Just one, uh, one more second. So the average is 15. So how am I going to, if I have, if this is a number and the average is 15, what do I have to do? Well, I have to take my four numbers, this number, this number, this number, and then some mystery number. I got to add them up and divide by four and the answer is 15. So knowing that, I can construct an algebraic equation, all right? And here it is. So 10 plus 14 plus 17 plus my mystery number x, all this, I add this up, divided by four, that's how I get the average, but the average is 15. That word is um, equates to the in, uh, equals uh, symbol in uh, mathematics and algebra, all right? So the first step is to interpret that problem and write out this nice equation. Now the second step is once you have this equation is to actually be able to solve it. Easiest way to solve this equation okay, is to multiply by the lowest common denominator. So this is 15 over 1. So this 4, we're just going to go ahead and clear the fraction. So I'm going to multiply 4 by both the left hand and right hand side of the equation. And when I do that, okay, this 4 cross cancels with this four on the left hand side. So I'm just left with the numerator stuff. And that's exactly what I was <laughs> wanting to do. I wanted to get rid of these uh, fractions, but then I got to multiply four to the other side of the equation. So four times 15 is 60. 
Okay, so now if you're with me and you're like, okay, this makes sense, then this, the rest of this should be pretty easy. Now we're going to combine, um, add up all the numbers, so 10, 14, and 17. That's 41. 41 plus x is equal to 60. I simply need to just subtract 41 from both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I get x is equal to 19, which is the answer. Okay, so if you add up 10 plus 14 plus 17 plus 19, you'll get 60. Okay, and uh, and then when you divide that, 60 divided by four numbers, the answer is going to be 15, right? So the average of those four numbers is 15, and it definitely checks out. But uh, this is a typical kind of problem uh, if you're studying, you know, anything pre-algebra, algebra, whatnot. You know, they're going to throw little problems like this with variables in there to try to, you know, um, you know, have you review how to set up basic equations, and more importantly, make sure you completely understand these concepts, the mean, median, and mode. All right, so hopefully this video was a good little review for you, and if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That would be excellent for me. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced, uh, organized in various playlists. If you like my teaching style, there I have a, t I have a ton of content on my channel. I make these videos to help you out. I'm always trying to teach math in a clear and understandable way, and I'm posting new content all the time. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.